All right, this is the coolest section and it will also be a part of your activity this week. So if you want to make a note of that, activity is this video, all right? So the main thing for this video is going to be unit conversions. All right, we're gonna be converting a lot of different things here. So for example, uh, you don't have to necessarily write this down, but you might want to. If I wanna convert 10 inches, in defeat, we do what we've been doing this whole time, right? We start with 10 inches and say that 12 inches is the same as one foot. We put the inches on the bottom, so they cancel, and all that's left with is the top, 10 feet, and the bottom is 12. You reduce that into 5 6 of a foot. That's unit conversions. That's what we're doing in this whole Oh, oh no. Look, I, I went too high here. Look, right here, too high. I'm not fixing it though. I hope you're okay. That's what we're doing in this video, okay? So the main things to, think, to realize, we're gonna talk about revolutions per minute. One RPM is two pi radians per minute because one revolution, 360 degrees, we could also write that, right? That's also 360 degrees per minute. These are all the same. Sometimes we'll use one, sometimes we'll use the under. Uh, udder? Nope, no, we will not be using any udders today. Um, and the other one that we really wanna remember is that one radian is equal to one radius in a sense, right? So this bottom one, one radian, is for angular stuff and one radius will translate it to linear stuff so if we have something in terms of radians per something if we use this little guy it'll become length or distance or inches or miles feet meters etc so this is how you convert from angular to linear this thing right there so let's kind of, uh, let's get into it a little bit. Let's see how, it, see what actually goes. Example five, a truck with 32 inch diameter wheels is moving at 60 miles per hour. Find, that's supposed to be an F, find the angular speed in revolutions per minute and gradients per minute. So we have a linear speed. We need to convert that into an angular speed. This is the way that we're gonna do it through unit conversions. So anytime you're dealing with applications, if you can draw a picture, it's a good idea. So here's the wheel. What's the radius of this wheel? The diameter is 32 inches. So the radius is 16 inches. And this wheel, we're moving linear speed of 60 miles per hour. Are you ready to do a lot of unit conversions? Because we're going to have to. Miles per hour and inches are really far apart. So we're just going to start with what we have. Start with where we're at. 60 miles per hour. Per is the fraction bar. So miles per hour, miles is on the top, hours are on the bottom. So I mentioned this is how we translate between angular and linear. So we need to get here. In order to get here though, we need a radius. Our radius is inches, right? We need a radius, which is inches. So we have to, we have a long way to go. 
Okay, to convert it to Angular, we need to get this in terms of inches. So let's use some conversions. We want miles to cancel. So let's have miles in the bottom. And if we have miles, we want to get to inches. You could Google the difference between an inch and a mile. Um, or you might know the, the value for converting miles to feet. One mile is 5,280 feet. And that gets us a little closer, but then we still have to get it into inches. So we multiply again. We want to cancel the feet. How many feet are in how many inches? But this is nice. We've made progress. The miles have canceled. And the answer is one foot is 12 inches. And again, we want the feet on the bottom, so they cancel. And now we have things in terms of inches. Inches is good because the inches is the terms of our radius. And once we have the, term, the units of our radius, then we can convert it to angular. So let's use a calculator here and see what we're left with. 60, oh my word. Uh, 60 times 5280 times 12. 60 times 5280 times 12. You can use Desmos. 3,380160. Wait, three eight zero one six hundred. Now, what inches are what's left on top, and hours are left on the bottom. So, if you were curious about how fast this truck was going in inches per hours, here's the answer. And now that these in, now that these match, now that we are have our units in terms of the radius we can convert it because one radius is one radian. Okay. 16 inches, that's our radius, is one radian. This is the big kicker right here. One radius is one radian. And now again, the inches are going to cancel. And we're going to get radians per hour. We're finally, with radians per hour, we're finally in Angular. So let's uh, multiply this out. Or divide this number by 16. It was 16, right? Yep. That's going to give us 237, 600. Radians. Per hour and we just keep on doing this forever just do step by step steps to try to get to what we want always think of what you want and how to get there in math as well as life all right so we're, we're these are the two things we're looking for down here radiant revolutions per minute and radians per minute we're very close to radians per minute right we have radians per hour so let's just cancel What's the relationship between hours and minutes? And again, we're putting hours on the top so that they'll cancel with the other hours. Well, one hour is the same as 60 minutes. Hours are gonna cancel. And now we've got something in radians per minute. Hooray! All right, let's take this number, divide it by 60, 3960. That's part of our answer. 3,960 radians per minute. It's a long problem. A lot of these are long. And we're not even done because we still need RPM, revolutions per minute. Well, one revolutions per minute. It's because one revolution is two pi radians, right? So here's what we have, 3960 radians per minute. Oh no, my head is going to be in the way. But there are two pi radians in one revolution. And I must disappear.
But then once you do that calculation, we'll be done. That'll be our second answer. Revolutions per minute. So what you're going to do is just cancel the things that you need to cancel. And then type it into a calculator. All right. Let's divide this answer by 2 pi and then we'll be done. All right. It's going to be about 630.25. Which doesn't doesn't fit here at all. That's our RPMs for our wheels. All right, and that's applications. There's a lot of variations on this, but this is the underlying thing. You need to get things in terms of your radius. So then you can convert between angular and linear. I'm going to blaze through another example just so you have it written down, but I'm not going to be talking through it very slowly. So it's going to go fast. Feel free to pause or slow down the video. Okay. Example six. A wheel of radius eight inches is rotating at 15 degrees per second. The question is, what is the linear speed? So we're just going the opposite direction here. Again, we have our wheel. It's a radius of eight inches and it's rotating at 15 degrees every second. So that's where we start, 15 degrees per second. We need to get things in terms of radians and radiuses, radii. So let's convert things to a radian. So how many degrees are in how many radians? Well, 180 degrees is the same as pi radians. We did that earlier. The degrees are going to cancel. That's going to give us well, some of these cancel too, right? I think this is 1 and this is 12. Is that true? 30 goes into it 6 times. So half of that would go into it 12 times. We're going to get pi radians per 12 seconds. Now again, just like in the last video, 1 radian is 1 radius. Over here, we're going to do it again and say that one radian is one radius. That's eight inches. The radians cancel. Two and three is how this reduces. And we're just going to be left with uh, two pi inches every three seconds. We've got a linear speed. Are we done? Oh, I should have done this one first. Because <laughs> uh, it doesn't specify it needs it in miles per hour. So th this would be an okay answer because it doesn't specify what it needs to be. 2 pi inches per second. 2 pi over 3 inches per second. My hand's cramping up. I'm doing too much math today. You probably are too, sorry. So that is an okay answer. But you could also, con you know, let, let's just do it. Let's convert this to miles per hour. Um, 2 pi inches for 3 seconds. Well, there are 12 inches, 1 foot. There are 5,280 feet in 1 mile. And there are 3,600. I don't have room for that. But we're also multiplying by 3,600 seconds in a, an hour. If you multiply all this out, look at the units, right? Inches cancel, feet cancel, seconds cancel, we should be left with miles per hour, and you multiply it out. Go over here, whatever this has to be, 
and it's 2 pi over 3. You can just write pi for pi times 1 12th times 1 over 5 280 times 3600 divided by 1. This is what we... Oh wait, I must, I must have made an error. Oh no, what did I do? Maybe I didn't make an error. I don't know. 0.1190? That's not very fast. <laughs> we don't know what kind of wheel this is. Maybe it makes sense, right? A wheel of radius 8 inches. So it's a, it's a real small, small wheel, right? 8 inches. And it's rotating 15 degrees every second. Yeah, that's, that's crawling along. That's crawling along. There's no way there's an error here. Um, who knows what this wheel is? It's not like a car tire or something, all right? 15 degrees per second is pretty slow, right? That's, it takes uh, 24 seconds to go a full rotation. It takes 24 seconds to go a whole, like 50 inches or something. Yeah, we're good. This is the right answer. <laughs> you can, this, you can leave it in that form. And that's the section, all right? That's the last video of the section. Good luck. Let me know if you have questions.